Begin tonight north of Campbell River, where an aquaculture operation is set to launch the world's first marine based closed containment fish farm. It is owned by AgriMarine, a company that calls itself a world leader in sustainable aquaculture technology. And industry observers from around the world will be watching this project very carefully. If it succeeds, the closed containment technology could become the future of fish farming, potentially putting an end to the bitter debate over the environmental safety of the aquaculture industry. Our Gord Kerbis has our top story. After more than a decade in the concept and planning stages, these waters north of Campbell River will soon be home to what could be the fish farm of the future. It's extremely exciting. It, uh, it's been a very long time coming. We've uh, learned a lot of patience uh, while, while we wait for this to, to happen. So it, uh, having it finally come to fruition is, is just tremendous. Crews are putting up protective railings and netting around an experimental closed containment fish farm. The 3,000 cubic meter tank is the first of four that will be located in the saltwater environment, the first of its kind anywhere in the world. You know, the first major success was, was getting it funded, the second was getting it in the water, the third will be putting the fish in the water, and the fourth will be bringing it out. In the next 10 days, the company will be placing upwards of 50,000 Chinook salmon fry into the tank, bringing them in from a hatchery near Port Alberni. Our purpose here is to, to prove the economics, and, and so once we've got all the data and have really examined it and, and demonstrated that we can grow fish economically, competitively, then that that would be a huge success. They'll also have to overcome skepticism within the salmon farming industry. The Association for BC Salmon Farmers has its doubts fish can economically be raised to maturity in closed containment. There's a number of things they'll be watching for. Quite a lot of uh, capital cost goes into building these facilities. The second, of course, will be fish welfare. You know, the fish are grown in um, more crowded densities, so we want to make sure that the fish are healthy and that their their uh, welfare is, is good. And then the, the third uh, aspect will be other environmental effects. But the company believes its plan is solid. We're doing it, and uh, we believe very strongly that it can be done economically. We've studied this thing in a lot of different ways. Uh, as it turns out, it's an economic economic reason with a, an environmental benefit. It's amazing, it's great to see, it's the first in the world and it's uh, happening in Campbell River. It's reflective of, of who we are. In other words, if there's a challenge, then Campbell River looks at it as an opportunity and moves forward with it. If all goes well, the first salmon should be leaving this facility in approximately 18 months time. North of Campbell River, Gord Curvis, A News.